everybody. I am Scotty J. Welcome back to Rock Titan Live. And uh, man, we got a really cool guest with us. Cool guest because this guy is the front man, you know, for a great band, Diamond Rex. You know, and uh, this goes and and the glory days. The glory days were sure. all of our glory days, man. You know, glam metal, hair metal, '80s metal. And uh, we got Nasty Habit with us. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. What's up, Scott? Oh, man. You look like you just like came out of a time warp yourself, dude. Like you, you, you just, <laughs> I live in a time warp, brother. <laughs> you, you, you just uh, got back from the Sunset Strip in the early days, chilling with like, yeah, Vince right? Neal and you uh -huh. know, all them dudes. Oh, my God. But uh, so Psych Ward, man, coming out August 28th. That's like uh, very soon. I'm not going to say how soon because we don't want people to know exactly when we're talking right now. You know, but yeah. we'll just say it's very, very soon. Um, mm -hmm. The thing that's cool about this nasty, and and it's got to be very, very cool for you. This is the first album you guys have put out since you actually had the original Diamond Rex lineup together. First, first one since our debut landed a damned in the late '80s with Island Records. Yeah, so it's the first time the four original members, uh, SS on guitar. Andre on the bass and Johnny Catone on the drums. Uh, you know, it's the first time we did a full length thing. We actually did a single a couple years back, uh, Dead, which is also included on this. But yeah, first time we did a full project, man. And it was just, uh, it was really cool. Yeah. That's nice, man. Now, I don't want you throwing any of your bandmates under the bus or anything like that. But do they still got it? They still got chops? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Every now and then you see those things, people throw posts out on Facebook. What would be your dream band if you could jam with anybody, you know? Sure. I'm going to tell you honestly, man, I, I couldn't, there's not another guitar player, drummer, or bass player around that I would rather fucking jam with than the, I don't know if I could swear on yeah, you. Yeah, man, yeah, we're okay, all good. All right. just, just checking, just checking. No FCC but, censorship here, nasty. Okay, all right. I don't know. Yeah, you know, I'm just checking. But yeah, man. Uh, no, man. Uh, I, I just think they're all incredible, man. And um, the, the funny thing is, is the way we blend together, we make up Diamond Rex, you know, like, it's funny, because each one of us, if you listen to what we might do alone, would be a little bit off base from what we do together, you know, like, uh, you know, our influences kind of vary. But man, when we get together, you know, we are what we are, man. It just comes together great. Yeah. So you are the perfect homogenous mixture of heavy metal magic. Uh, you know, I, I guess that yeah, that's one way you could look at it. You know, you could you could kind of look at it like that, or you could just kind of, I don't know, look at it like a a, a big pile of barf or something. I don't know. <laughs> but no, you guys really are the yeah, sum of your parts. parts. It works together. You you're, know, you're the, just, you're, the uh, sum, you're the sum of your parts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just makes it all nasty and what it is. I don't know, man. I don't know. That's cool. That's cool. So when you guys yeah. finally got together to do uh psych ward, I guess it was like, uh, was it just like old times? Like, uh, you never even, uh, did a thing apart. Well, we've actually, uh, there was a point like, I kind of through that grunge period uh, after the first uh, album, uh, we came back with a couple other ones, a, a bunch of different lineup changes. Uh, you know, there was even a point when SS had a, he, he did a little stint out in LA with another band. And, um, you know, so when he came back and then, you know, Andre came back for a little while to tour golden gates. Uh, but the missing link was Johnny, you know, on the drums. And then years later, you know, we wind up slowly but surely, you know, getting back to the original guys. And we've doing we've done some shows. We did a, a 30 year reunion show where we did our whole first uh album, Land of the Dam, beginning to end. And that went over really well. The thing was sold out. We literally had people come to Chicago from all over the country. So yes. that was a lot of fun. But you know, we were jamming together a lot, but I mean to actually get back and really start committing ourselves to the writing again. Yeah, that was uh, that was different. That was very, very different. And another time, just kind of going back a little, we hadn't been we got together one night and we jammed and it had been years now. You know, we I, I was working with SS on songs and uh, every now and then Andre would pop in and, um, you know, I would go hang out with Johnny or whatever. But 
we all got together one night and Johnny looked at us after we got done with rehearsal. And he said, you know, this is the first time in 10 years that the four of us have even been in a room together. Wow. And that was kind of mind blowing because that rehearsal was magic, you know? So the four of us being away from each other for a period of 10 years. And it was like, exactly like you say, man, like right when we got together, you know, it was like yesterday, you know? So, well, let yeah. me ask you something. I don't want to get too personal here, nasty, you know, mm-hmm. but, um, that debut album you had with those guys as Diamond Rex. I mean, you were coming in there right at the height. Like I said, I mean, the golden era, you know, of, right. of that glam rock, glam metal, heavy metal, hair metal, whatever the hell you want to call it. Everything that encompassed, like, you know, Motley Crue and Poison and uh, Cinderella and, you know, a Faster Pussycat, the list goes on, of right. course. You, you were one of those Rat. guys. Rat, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and you, you actually, uh, you opened up for them one time, if I'm not mistaken, didn't you? We opened up for them the first time they toured Chicago, and we just did a show with them about a, a year or so ago. And uh, another cool. sellout, it was unbelievable, man. It was uh, so weird, because it was actually the original Rat, too. Warren was out playing guitar on that show. And, uh, okay. uh, you know, of course, Juan. Juan is almost the guy who's running that band. He's a great guy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Steven was there. And, uh, yeah, so – and then they had that guitar player from um, Quiet Riot was the yeah. second guitar player at the okay. time. And, of yep. course, you know, they had a different drummer, too. I can't remember who it was right now. But, yep. uh, you know, they had a really good lineup, and it was a great show. But, yeah, so go back to what you were saying. Yeah, no, did, did, you ever, did you ever meet Steven? Did you ever get to hang out with Piercy? Oh, yeah, man, the first, yeah. <laughs> the first time uh, they came to town. Yeah, we, uh, we, we uh, let's see, we, we did a little number on the bus, <laughs> you know. He's a cool so, dude, man. Yeah, he's a cool yeah, dude. They're all, they were all really cool. Uh, yeah, we've yeah. hung out. But, yeah, so getting back to where I was originally going, um, yeah. like you said, I mean, you guys start off – you're making magic. I mean, you guys are actually having some real commercial success, like boom, right out of the gate. Um, clearly, you guys had a, a pretty uh, you know, wild brotherhood there. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you all kind of break up. You get back together again after 10 years. None of you had been in a room together for 10 years. What happened there? Like, how did that happen? How did you guys split apart to begin with? What, what, what led to that? Yeah, well, you know, Island didn't pick up the second uh, option on the contract, and uh, the band at that point had uh, different management that was, you know, everybody started looking and pointing fingers. So uh, at the same time, uh, SS had another thing going out in L.A. with another band. So it all just kind of, it just kind of dissolved at that point, you know. So, you know, that's that's kind of what kind of set us all in different directions, you know. So what I guess what were some of the things going through your mind at that time? Because I mean, you guys are you, you, you're rocking with everybody. I mean, like we just talked about, you know. I mean, you guys yeah. open up for Rat. You know, you're hanging out with Stephen Piercy. I mean, you are one of those bands. Diamond Rex is one of those bands. Right. It, like what yeah. what's going through your head? Well, <laughs> at that time, man, all that was going through my head was drinking. You know, I mean, seriously, uh, it was like my whole world fell apart. You know, you know, we, uh, we, we started screwing around actually, even before SS left and, uh, started trying different drummers, different bass players. And, uh, after S left, uh, my drummer, Johnny, um, he, he kept trying to get some people together and he had a, a cool bass player at the time, but we just couldn't land that guitarist, uh, you know, uh, Filling uh, SS's shoes was uh, not an easy task, man. The guy, the guy is phenomenal. You know, he's he's very unique in his style. And uh, finally, we we got a hold of some kids, seventeen years old, and uh, that's that's when we recorded the second album, Rated Rex, and we went out and we toured that for a little bit. So, uh, but literally before that, man, I was just I don't know. What do you say? Depressed, drowning in a bottle. I don't know. Well, did it? I mean, did it ever? Uh, did you ever think about just starting up a whole different band altogether and like, all right, Diamond Rex it was what it was. Didn't quite get to where I wanted it to be. But, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm the front man. You know, I'm the guy behind the vocals. I'll just go find some other guys. Was that ever really a thought? Uh, you know what? I never thought about it. <laughs> I never thought about it, but kind of that's what happened. Because uh, my second album, 
I had a new guitar player, a new bass player, and uh, Johnny still played drums on it. But uh, by the time we toured, Johnny wasn't in the band. So uh, here I was basically, uh, you know, uh, touring the first and the second album. And I looked around and I had all new members. Right. So uh, solo, you know, solo thing, you know, yeah, that was brought up to me. But um, honest to God, man, it's like, you know, I'm just I'm the singer in Diamond Rex. You know, I, I don't think a solo, man. This is a band, you know, and uh, it, it, it can't feel more comfortable and right with all the original guys. Yeah. Now nah, I feel you, man. I feel you. Yeah. So yeah. when when you guys finally did get back together again, you know, and we touched on this a little bit earlier, you know, when you guys were jamming, it was just kind of like magical, you know, because you hadn't actually played together in 10 years, like at any capacity. Right. You know, you guys were just sitting around jamming. And then, uh, you know, all of a sudden, Psych Ward, Psych Ward, this is perfect. This is exactly what our new album should be. But would you, would you say that when you guys got back together again, did you kind of lay down any ground rules? Did you say, all right, we know what happened the first time around with Diamond Rex. This is how we got to do it the next time around. Was was that kind of, uh, did that huddle, that huddle up, you know, ever happen? Uh what happened was, I, I remember this clearly, there was a night in rehearsal where I just looked at all the guys and I said, man, come on, man, look at what we got here. You know, this is it, you know, and, and, and if this ever isn't the four of us, man, it, we, it really shouldn't even be Diamond Rex, you know, because Diamond Rex is the four of us. It's Johnny on drums, Andre on bass. SS on guitar and me making an ass out of myself in front of all that, you know? <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, obviously a lot of years have gone by. Do, do, do you guys find yourselves doing things vastly different just from a musical perspective, a theatrical perspective? Because obviously there was a lot of uh, almost shock rock, really you know, to what Diamond Rex was. I mean, you definitely had that shock rock element to your metal. Um, did, did you want to really kind of resurrect all of that? Or were there any thoughts maybe you might do things differently as Diamond Rex? Well, I'll tell you what, when it comes to seeing us live, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, we try to sprinkle goofy stuff, uh, uh, a la Ellis Cooper, you know, I mean, but I mean, you, you know, you can't, you can't compare to the King. You know what I mean? I mean, seeing Ellis Cooper is like watching a damn Broadway production, <laughs> but we try to sprinkle a few things like maybe some nasty nurses, uh, maybe, a will choke out a screaming nun or, um, uh, what else is there? Uh, I've seen that in we'll, videos, man. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll pull out the rock gun and spray the crowd, you know, shit like that. Or, you know, we may lock uh, a nurse or a nun or uh, uh, a member of the audience in a cage. We did a show one time on Halloween and uh, we pulled somebody out of the audience. We locked her in the cage. We did that song, Lock It Up. And right after we locked her in a cage and I got this big chain around there and it's all locked up. This other girl's on stage pulling at me saying, Hey man, I want to get locked in there too. So yeah. So that was an interesting thing, oh but we God. try to keep it interesting. We try to keep it fun. Uh, as far as, uh, I don't think that's ever going to change with us. That's part of who we are. It's part of who I am as okay. a front man. So, I mean, that's just kind of, you know, whatever, man, y'all are stuck with that. Right on. But uh, as far as something changing, I think what's changed is the way we write. Um, and probably, uh, the biggest change has been with, uh, myself because, uh, I, I literally for the, this is probably one of the first, uh, really one of the first albums, um, where, uh, SS will come in and he'll, he'll have lyrics to a song and he'll have a vocal melody. And, uh, like with ride, he came in there and he, you know, he had the whole, whole ver first verse written, uh, lyrically. And he, he basically sang me the vocal melody and uh, I tried to pick up on that. And, and in the past, I've always been laying down my own lyrics. I've always been, uh, you know, laying down my own melodies and, uh, you know, maybe a little guidance, but not like this. Uh, it, a matter of fact, the song, The Answer was a idea that Andre had for years. And uh, I remember we tried to play it at one rehearsal. I just said, hey, man, play that punk song you got. And uh you know, we, we played it and then I told him, do me a favor, man, email me the lyrics. And uh, I think he almost uh, crapped his pants when I said that, because, you know, for <laughs> me to ask him, normally I would just rewrite everything, you know, and of course I was going to use my lyrics, you know, and uh, 
So I think it's a much more of a band uh, collaboration, really, with what we're writing. And it, it's really, uh, I think it's paying off, you know, it really is. Right on, right on. Now, yeah. I've already listened to all of Psych Ward, you know. So for all of the fans that you've had as Diamond Rex, the albums that they were familiar with before, what would you tell them to expect on Psych Ward now? Like, would you say that this is just the the next evolution of the band that you guys are staying true to your original sound or would this be something where you know people might say wow this is like a totally different side of diamond rex i never knew was possible well i think when you put the album on and it starts you're going to probably hear a lot more uh of an aggressive side of the band and uh you're going to hear maybe even a a flavor of the punky side of the band um, but by the time you start getting a ride, uh, the fourth track, you're definitely getting in that. I feel that's like kind of an eighties grooving song and that's old school rock right there. Right and then you got a ballad after that. Then you go into psych ward, which is kind of like signature craziness for lack of better, <laughs> uh, you know, lack of a better description. And then I think as the album goes on, you, you get, you get again, aggressive groovy, but by the time that album's ending, it's getting real dark. Uh, that's my feeling on it. You're, you're getting into the dark, heavy stuff, which is kind of almost running full circle to a little bit of uh, some of the stuff on Land of the Damned. I don't know. So right on. I think it's definitely a, a, a new feel for the band, you know. But right. so, I think it brings us back to our roots, too. Good. Well, with my review, then, I'm not too far off the mark. I just had to have nasty <laughs> habits assessment, you know. <laughs> see how it matches up with mine. So, everyone, you can go out to rocktitan.tv, and you will see my review of Psych Ward, along with this awesome conversation. Well, I can't wait, man. Yeah, dude, it's good. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. i just seen too many bands, like, uh, you know, great bands. I mean, great bands that I love, you know, that really delivered some awesome stuff like out of the 80s and stuff but it's almost like a lot of them man it, it, nothing has changed you know it's like uh and and this isn't you know even if we want it to be 1985 you know it really isn't you know it's a different world today sure you know and uh you know so it's like you know we kind of had a you know I, we just kind of feel like you know we had to evolve kind of like reinvent ourselves a little bit you know right on Right on. Well, this is a perfect segue into uh, basically the last thing I want to touch on with you, and then I'll let you go on your merry way. But first, I have to say, Nasty, thank you so much for joining us on Rock Titan Live. Hey, man, thank you. We really appreciate it. We do. We appreciate you. We appreciate all our fans, man. It's awesome hanging out with you. So you're just talking about, you know, some of the bands that you guys came up through the ranks with, you know, and, and how they're doing things now. Given everyone that you've met over the years, everyone that you've already toured with, everyone that you've jammed with. At some point, we don't know exactly when, you are going to be able to get out there and you will be able to support Psych Ward and all of its glory live as <laughs> as this is meant to be put on. Are there any specific bands that you have never played with or any musicians that you never have collaborated with or shared a stage with that you would like to go out and support Psych Ward with? Well, I mean, uh, obviously, if they get together again and you never know with them, I mean, uh, Motley Crue would be uh, a great band to, you know, try to get out there with. I mean, <laughs> hell, who, who knows? I mean, you know, uh, you never know about Ozzy either, man, when he's done. You know, he's been saying he's been done for the last 15 years, you know. So we, we did actually open for Vince one time out in Detroit, which was a lot of fun. Uh Right hanging out and uh you know we we actually one of one of the guys for a while was kind of friends with him and uh we hung out at one of the clubs here in chicago too but um i, I think either of those and you know of course alice cooper man that's another one i i think we'd be a, a real nice fit an opening act for uh cooper so i mean it, it really doesn't matter man i mean there's so many bands that i admire and uh just you know have literally been a part of all of our influences and stuff so any opportunity would be, uh, you know, welcome for us, you know. Right on, right on. Well, again, everybody, we are here with Nasty Habit from Diamond Rex. They got their brand new album uh, out August Psych 28th. Ward. <laughs> Psych Ward, August 28th. And uh, it's awesome, dude. It's awesome. And everybody, again, make sure you go out to the RockTitan.tv website. Check out my thoughts on it. And uh, it's great. And uh, 
we can't wait to catch you uh, out on the tour trail. It would be absolutely awesome, whether it's in the Midwest in your hometown of Chicago or, you know, if it's out here more on the eastern side of things or wherever, man. But we definitely got to catch up with you live. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Scott. Uh, stay tuned to our Facebook page because we're probably okay. putting a record release show together for uh, – uh, October 10th, I think is going to be the date we're trying to lock in. Okay. And, uh, okay. uh there's only going to be a 50 person capacity okay. in, uh, Chicago for that. Okay. But we are planning on, uh, broadcasting that live streaming that show live through the, our label pavement, uh, pavement entertainment website. So, uh, awesome. stay tuned for that. That should be, uh, getting, uh, confirmed very quick and, uh, the information will, be on our Facebook page or our website, diamondrex.com. Oh, we got the links. Uxs. Yeah, we got all the links. We got all the links right down here yeah. at the bottom of the screen for everyone to see and go check out. And uh, everybody, if you enjoyed this podcast here with Mr. Nasty Habit, which I have every confidence that you have, go out to youtube.com forward slash rock titan and uh, give us a subscribe. And uh, go check out their videos. We're going to feature, you know, all the stuff that they've done over the years. And uh, there's some wild stuff, man, like psychotic, truly psychotic, you know, like they, these dudes belong in a psych ward, truly. But uh, Nasty, thank you. Thank you again. Hey, man. Thanks again, Scott. That's actually how the concept for the album and the title came along. One night at rehearsal, man, everybody's babbling at the end of the night. There's all these Heineken bottles everywhere. That's I it. looked at us and said, dude, man, this is it, bro. That's We're it. in a psych ward. <laughs> you know? yeah. 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 All right, buddy. I'm Scott. All right, J. brother. Take care, man. Yes. Rock on. Right on. I'm Scotty J. Rock Titan Live. We're out.